Hi, I'm Stephanie Kesson from the Online Itinerants. Did you know that 87% of the general public listens to music through their phone in earbuds? Did you also realize that once a student is in upper elementary school, middle school, and for sure high school, they are generally using their own alarm clock to wake themselves up in the morning? If you are a student with hearing loss, these things can be a challenge. For example, if you are a student with hearing loss, you have to take out your hearing aids to be able to listen to earbuds. And if you are doing that, then you are actually putting yourself at risk of causing additional hearing damage. If you are unable to hear your alarm clock, that means somebody else is waking you up in the morning. And that means that you are being limited on your own independence, self-advocacy, and self-empowerment. When I realized the number of students that I had that did not have access to this everyday technology that other students do have, I realized it was time for me to do some homework and find out what assistive technology is out there. How do students get it? How do they pay for it? And what are the steps in learning about this information. Come join me as I meet with Kelly Rayback, the showroom manager of Here Wisconsin, as she talks about the assistive technology that's available out there. Kelly herself has a hearing loss, so she provides a unique perspective of her own experience in being able to utilize this technology and access the different tools that are available to her.